No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the legal services performed by other lawyers. Many of you have now heard the term stepped-up basis and it possibly being eliminated, which is very concerning. I encourage you to schedule your free 15-minute consultation with attorney Harlan Mitchell to find out what you can do to protect yourself and your family. Schedule your appointment with attorney Harlan Mitchell by calling 256-216-9884 or by going to BamaEstatePlanning.com. Do it today. Would you like enhanced energy, better moods, less fatigue, help with allergies, better sleep, mental clarity, or just want improvement of your overall immune health and well-being? Do you need to recover from intense activities, workouts, or sports? Then IV therapy at the Drip Factor inside Trinity Medical Center is right for you. Our IV drips are filled with nutrients, vitamins, and minerals that will help your body replenish, restore, and achieve your wellness goals. For more information, visit trinity-medicalcare.com and schedule your appointment today at Trinity Medical Center, located at 500 Governor's drive. Hello, my name is Christian Martinez. I'm a rising senior at Athens Bible School. My school is great because of the wonderful environment in which students can grow and flourish. We have great academics that include the university preparatory diploma and dual enrollment courses that lead to an associate's degree before high school graduation. All my teachers and the school's employees are Christians who are devoted to the welfare of students. We have an excellent student body, competitive sports program, and study the Bible first thing every day. It's a great place. Please consider joining us at ABS next year or give that special child in your life the great opportunity I have. Boutique Air in Muscle Shoals, Alabama offers direct flights to Atlanta, Nashville, and Pensacola. Boutique Air service runs twice daily, seven days a week with fares starting at $59. Follow Boutique Air Muscle Shoals on Facebook at Boutique Air MSL and book your flight through BoutiqueAir.com. Boutique Air where you can fly private for the cost of commercial. Hey everybody, this is Daryl Worley, and you're listening to The Mark White Show. Hey, step up and make a difference like he does. Hey y'all, this is Jeff Foxworthy, and you, yeah, you, can make a huge difference in somebody's life. You just may not have figured out how yet, and that's why you're listening to The Mark White Show. Hi, this is Maggie Peterson. I played Charlene Darling on The Andy Griffith Show, and you are listening to The Mark White Show. Hi folks, this is Ricky Skaggs, and you're listening to The Mark White Show. Hello, I'm Gene Stallings, and this is The Mark White Show. Get off the sideline and get involved and make a difference in your community. You are listening to The Mark White Show. My daddy is your host, Mark White. Welcome to a Saturday edition of The Mark White Show. I'm so glad that you all could join us today as we recognize difference makers in our communities 
and share their stories to encourage and inspire. Right now, I have on the line with me Shayla Handback as well as Wendy Reichard. They are the founders of the Teddy Bear Foundation. Now, I, I found the Teddy Bear Foundation after I shared about a veteran in Pell City, Alabama, who had taken his life. They shared that post, and I noticed that they were an organization who recognizes efforts like this to try to help those who are veterans with rehabilitation for the veteran mind, body, and soul. And they offer custom assistance not only to the suffering veteran, but to their family as well. Welcome to the Mark White Show, Shayla and Wendy. Thanks for having us. We're glad to be here. I am glad to have you. Anytime that we have an effort out there that recognizes our veterans, who tries to offer support to our veterans and their family members, I try to recognize that through the Mark White Show and give people an opportunity who want to make a difference to be a part of these special efforts. And the Teddy Bear Foundation, the Teddy Bear Foundation sounds like one of those special foundations that people can really dive in and be a part of. Yes, we are. Um, You know, we actually started this just last year. We're a local organization here trying to help our local veterans in North Alabama, and we really want to be able to expand eventually. It, it's been a roller coaster of a ride with COVID-19 and not being able to really do what we're wanting to get started here. Wendy, let me ask you, how did the Teddy Bear Foundation get started? What was the motivation behind it? Where's the passion or the background for either one of you to start a foundation like this? Well, I believe my passion was I was unable to serve in the military. When I came of age, I had health issues and being, being in the military was always something I had saw myself doing. And it was a devastating time for me to not be able to do that. And as I grew, I met more and more people, more military a good majority of my graduating class was military. So it was a very difficult thing for me to step away from. And as, as they started coming back from Afghanistan and Iraq and noticing the changes in my friends, just, just in my friends, the trauma that they went through and the realization that there's no real help for them in their community. They have to drive three, four, five hours away just to talk to a doctor. So having something local, having a local system to really help and rebuild a veteran is it's just something a community can do. And that's what we want to do. Now, I know that the Teddy Bear Foundation is based in Florence, Alabama. Are you both from the state of Alabama, Shayla and Wendy? Yes, yes. sir. And you're both from the Shoals area? Yes, Yes, we are. For you, Shayla, what was your passion behind being a part of the Teddy Bear Foundation to join and partner with Shayla on this? Really, I come from a long line of military background. Um, Similar to Wendy, I wanted to join the military when I became of age um, and couldn't due to health issues. And so I decided I was going to go into the medical field and help local veterans You know, whether it be um, at like a a VA clinic or a military base hospital, I am married to a Marine veteran and, you know, I have been with him through all of this since he got out of service and just to see the the downhill of of being a veteran, you know, these men and women sacrifice everything for this country. And this country can't sacrifice a small portion for them. And it is heart-wrenching. You know, my grandfather was Navy, and unfortunately he passed away before I was born, so I didn't get to know him, but I know his legacy. My uncle, one of my oldest uncles, he passed away from uh, Agent Orange after having served in Vietnam. My father was National Guard, and then now my husband. And it's just, there is no upside uh per se, to being a veteran other than just having that title. And, you know, these men and women, past, present, and future, 
deserve so much more. So if we can make a, a small a small change that can be a ripple effect, then that's what we want to do. That's what we plan to do. I think about the fact that if a military member loses their leg or their arm or has a physical injury or anybody for that matter, we can look at that and say, let's find a prosthetic. Let's help that injury. For someone who has internal injuries, which include mental issues, difficulties with depression, PTS, and other things that have taken their toll on that individual, something we can't see. I think sometimes we're disconnected from that individual because we can't physically see what is wrong with them. Absolutely, 100%. And it's very true. Another one of our our founding members of Teddy Bear Foundation, he actually approached me, Christopher, that um, it was right after his own brother committed suicide from not being able to deal with the post-traumatic stress and his time serving. So this, this goes, when we say rehabilitation for the mind, body, and soul, we have to do it all. You know, a prosthetic isn't enough. You can't see those internal wounds And just having, just providing somebody for them to talk to, just a friend, somebody else with the same experience or a like experience. Because the majority of these VA doctors have never actually been in that situation. They're just young doctors coming out of medical school. And I think that's a lot of why our veterans don't reach out more, because they're not being paired with people who are like them. You know, Shayla and Wendy, I don't know what was going on with Houston Tumlin. I do know that he served our country. He was from Pell City, Alabama. He was 28 years old. He took his life. And I wouldn't be talking to you both right now if you hadn't shared the post recognizing Houston. And so I do want to acknowledge to his family that in the loss of his life, we are bringing awareness to this subject of suicide that we are trying to make a difference in our communities when it comes to our military members and to not have them go to that dark place which causes them to no longer want to live and ultimately take their life. So I did want to acknowledge that because of Houston Tumlin at 28 years old, a military member, and we've had military members across the country and the world who have taken their lives. I've recognized Van Booth who walked across the country two years ago came on my program and he was walking across the country in honor, in recognition and bringing awareness to veteran suicide. And I just feel it's very important that we continue to bang the drum and say, there's a problem here. I have a friend who also walks across the shoals for the 22 a day. That number, that number 22, when we think about a group or a conglomerate, but it's one individual a person with a family, a person who has people who love them and care about them, a person who right now needs our voice to be able to come out of that situation and know that there are people out there who care about them. Yes, and that number, 22 a day, that's too much. That's too much. And I think if if the community could gather around the veterans and you could really see this community helping veterans and then the veterans will turn around and help the community. Uh, that is the biggest idea is just getting out there, just letting letting these service members know that they are appreciated, that we appreciate them. We appreciate what they sacrifice. The biggest issue that we have in our community is there's not enough veteran outreach. I do know that There are people out there who are willing to step up, and maybe someone listening right now is able to help Room at the Inn. I hope so, and I would love to see people, as you say in the community, stand up and say that we're here for these men and women, that we appreciate their service, and we really do have to dig deep and say, I really appreciate somebody that I don't know, but I know what they did, and I know the sacrifice that was made because I realize and understand the magnitude of service, then I want to help. Absolutely, 100%. 
you know, we, uh, we as a, a foundation, and there are roughly six, seven of us right now that are on this board and on this, this foundation, Wendy and I are just a small portion of this foundation. We have two Marines on this board. We also have a Navy sailor on this board. You know, we have a Army veteran who made a career of this helping us out and it is this is more than I thought I would ever be invested in um Wendy and I have known each other for 12 years and if it wasn't for her I wouldn't be on this foundation I wouldn't be with this and I'm so thankful to be able to have that opportunity the biggest thing that we really I mean we've just we've got to make more outreach like she previously said we want to make an outreach of this. We want to grow. We want to expand. We want to be able to do more than just the Lauderdale area and the Alabama area. You know, there's so many homeless veterans out here that need help. There's people that need jobs. There's people that need just a hygiene assistant. And if we can offer that, then that's what we plan to do, no matter how big or how small. Well, Shayla and Wendy, I want to talk about that growth in just a minute. If we could take a quick break and then come back, let's talk about your vision for the Teddy Bear Foundation and how people can help, okay? Okay. Folks, right now we're talking to Shayla Handback and Wendy Reichard. They are in Florence, Alabama. They are with the Teddy Bear Foundation. We're talking about our veterans, military members, those who served our country, those who are serving our country who need our help. I hope that you will continue to listen as we recognize this special foundation and how you can be a part of this effort as they continue to grow. You are listening to The Mark White Show, and I'm your host, Mark White. A little wink, a pat on the back, a big old hug, a little laugh. We can make a difference, all we have to do is try yeah, Every day's a chance to change somebody else's life Let's all do something good today The best way to buy, sell, and experience land is with Jonathan Berryhill. For your farm, ranch, recreational, hunting, timber, and acreage needs, contact National Land Realty Professional Jonathan Berryhill at 256-874-7354 or email at jberryhill at nationalland.com. Be sure to follow Jonathan Berryhill with National Land Realty on Facebook. This is your land. Thompson Roofing and Construction is a locally owned family business serving the North Alabama and Southern Tennessee area. They are a Better Business Bureau a member since 2011 and a GAF Master Elite Contractor. Give them a call at 256-952-3309 or check them out on the web at 256roofing.com. They offer free inspections. Thompson Roofing and Construction. Is it time for a haircut? Go see my friends Philip Butler and B.H. Parker at Southwind Barbershop, located at 1637 Lee Street in Rogersville, Alabama. Give them a call at 256-247-5658. That's 256-247-5658. Mr. Cecil Batchelor is the one that started this business as Dependable Service Center. And even though now it's Green's Dependable Hardware and we're a true value store, our tagline is still your Dependable Service Center. We've tried to keep that alive for all these years. Mr. Batchelor really started a good business. We're really excited to be carrying on a long-standing tradition. It's the oldest retail store in the city of Russell. We're Green's Dependable Hardware, 15220A, Highway 43 in Russellville. Alabama. We're right behind McDonald's or right across the street from the hospital. Number is 256-331-0123. The Dependable Service Center. Hi, I'm Crystal Gale, and you're listening to The Mark White Show. And one smile can make a difference. na 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 Someone loves you, I do He drives into the city Works extra 
heart all day Finishes up early So he can get away Cause there's a blue-eyed kid on second base Wants dad to watch Welcome back to the Mark White Show. Right now I have on the line with me Shayla Hanback as well as Wendy Reichard. Glad to have them joining me today from the Teddy Bear Foundation in Florence, Alabama. Welcome back to the Mark White Show, Shayla and Wendy. Thank you, Mark. Thanks. So glad to have you both, and this is a very important subject, and that's why I have you both on the line right now, is to bring awareness to our veterans, to those who serve our country, and to recognize foundations and organizations who are offering support in various ways to help those who are serving and have served our country. And I appreciate both of you, and I appreciate the board that you described, the people who are part of this foundation, and the work that you're doing. Let's talk about the vision for Teddy Bear Foundation, what you hope to accomplish, not only in Florence, Alabama, but as we extend out to Lauderdale County, to the state of Alabama, and even across the southeast and potentially the country. Our grand vision is to have a community built for our veterans to come to, our homeless veterans, our ailing veterans, you know, every walk of life to be able to give them that customized care that they need. We really, we looked at the ideas of the tiny home villages. I got this idea from Kansas City. Um, They actually started building tiny homes for their veterans in their community. And I thought, you know, what a great idea to have that here, to have little bitty tiny homes for the first couple of years, getting them back on their feet, getting them back to a readjustment to civilian life. Because it's very hard going from a military mindset to a civilian mindset. It's a completely different ballgame. And there's nowhere that our service members can actually go and do that. So our grand dream is to provide that type of facility. Getting into specifics here, the community that you're describing, the home base, if you will, would offer a full gym, rec room, library, mess hall, medical facility, trade classrooms, and most importantly, housing for the homeless veterans for these individuals to be able to go out into the community and be able to serve in that capacity in the community as a civilian, all those things go together to work for an individual who needs our help, who needs to transition from that military life, as you described, into civilian life. Yes, it, it's very, very important because that's not offered now. Like I said, that transition area, that's very difficult for a lot of our service members to navigate, especially those have who have been in combat, a lot of them, a lot of them don't even need to be around their families right off, right off the bat because it's just too much trauma to deal with. And being able to provide a facility like we are dreaming of could mean the difference in life and death. And if we save just one out of 22, then we've done something. If someone is interested in being a part of this effort, there's something that's been said in this conversation that has inspired them to be a part of Teddy Bear Foundation, to want to help the veterans in their community. What can they do? Where can they go to find Teddy Bear Foundation and to be a part of this effort? We have our website. It's teddybearfoundation.org. You can reach out to us on Facebook. We have... um, multiple ways that you can donate. You can donate your money, your time, even your advice. We're open to ideas. You know, we're very small. We're getting up and going, and we really want our community to be a part of this. I think it's great what you both are doing along with the team of people who make up the Teddy Bear Foundation. I appreciate, again, the work that you're doing to try to help our veterans and Help them transition into civilian life. It's so important that we continue to keep our veterans on our radars, that we don't ignore them because of the challenges we may have in our own lives, that we're distracted by so many different things, and we don't necessarily think about the people around us, including veterans. I think 
if we can get our hearts thinking about other people in ways that we can make a difference, whether they're veterans or not, we're going to be better for it. When we find our time, instead of thinking about woe is me or I have this problem in my life, but you can look out and see, oh, well, there's someone out there who needs my help. And it does create a distraction for us when we have our own issues in life and we can be able to focus on someone else and try to figure out how to help them. And in the process, we help ourselves. Absolutely. We couldn't agree with you more. Right now, we're doing, you know, little small odds and end things to try to bring in, you know, the awareness with our foundation. So every little bit of, you know, help from advertisement and word of mouth is what's going to get us to where we need to be. And this summer, we're really working on our Ramps for Vets programs. And that's just a little thing that we have going. We go in and make it to where a veteran is comfortable in their own home. Some of our more elderly veterans, you know, they're, it's more difficult for them to get around, installing handrails, ramps, making their bathrooms safer for them, things like that that the VA can't take care of or don't know to take care of. That's, um, that's really what we're starting with right now with this summer. Absolutely. Yesterday on the program, I had Roy Brook. And Roy goes to funerals, and he goes to events, and he holds a flag. And a lot of people have taken pictures of Roy and acknowledged what he does to try to honor those. Of course, we want to keep our veterans out of the ground. We want to have them live the fullest life possible and offer those opportunities. And I believe that the Teddy Bear Foundation is paving the way in the Florence area right now for this to happen we don't want to go to those funerals and there are people who are there to help the families but we want to help that individual before it goes to that point yeah i mean that that's definitely the the that's the goal we actually had a uh, float in our local christmas parade this past december uh, we tried to make it as patriotic as we could we had our veterans on our float you know we had our children uh, you know, holding signs saying, we've got your six, hope for your veterans, you know, um, just all kinds of things. We do uh, TBF, which is, you know, just our initials for RED, you know, remember everyone deployed. We wear red shirts every Friday. We try to post a picture to our page. We try to get our followers involved. Um, we, you know, for instance, you know, PTSD is, you know, the number one issue in, in a lot of cases, and um, we, you know, that's what we want to focus on is, you know, every small detail. Nothing gets left, you know, unsaid. Nothing gets left unturned. You know, if you need a meal, you need clean clothes, you need a bath, you need a shower, we're here. You know, we had a local veteran during our Christmas parade that we saw walking across the, the street, and we gave him food. We gave him drinks we gave him snacks and come to find out after you know a little bit of talking to him that he had lost everything and there's absolutely no reason that anybody should be on the streets nobody should lose their family because of their their demons that they can't fight you know they need our attention they need our love they need our care they need our just our utmost respect i mean they laid down their lives and like you previously said everyone turns their back to someone that has something that you can't see because it's, it's, some people think it's a facade, you know, it's like, oh, hey, there's nothing wrong with them. And unfortunately, that's not the case. And like with Houston, you know, it was portrayed that he was perfectly happy. And unfortunately, that's how it looks on the outside. But what's on the inside is, it's, it's a lot worse. It's a cold, dark place. And a lot of them don't ever come out of it. Obviously, we're dealing with some heavy subjects here. Where did the idea of calling it the Teddy Bear Foundation come from? Um, the Teddy Bear Foundation is actually, you take the hardest, most war-torn Marine out there, and you think about how they're sitting there in shock with what they've seen, and you can give them something as small as a teddy bear, and they're going to cuddle that teddy bear. There's something about a teddy bear that makes you feel safe. It makes you feel home. It makes you feel like somebody has your back. And that's what we are. We, we have your six. We have your back with something as small as a teddy bear. 
I love it. I want people to go to teddybearfoundation.org, follow on social media, and we appreciate again the work of the Teddy Bear Foundation. I appreciate you, Shayla and Wendy, both joining me here on the Mark White Show today. Thank you so much. It's been a blessing and a pleasure. Yes, it definitely has. Thank you. We appreciate the ladies from Teddy Bear Foundation joining us here on the Mark White Show today. Coming up, we're going to have Shannon Brown with Liberty Middle School sharing about how you can help those who have been displaced by the tornado down in the Pelham, Alabama area. I hope you'll stick with us. You are listening to The Mark White Show, and I'm your host, Mark White. If you like hickory smoked ribs that fall apart at the slightest pull or barbecue shoulders that are so slow smoked each tender bite melts in your mouth, then you are going to love Baby Jack's Barbecue. Baby Jack's Barbecue in Bartlett and Arlington. Try the barbecue chicken, beef brisket sandwich, barbecue potato, it is huge, or the Baby Jack trio, pork, turkey, or beef brisket sliders. You like wet ribs? They like dry ribs. Get one slab that has them both. Catering? Baby Jack's can feed a family or an army. Drive in, drive through, order online, or come in and set a minute. Baby Jack's Barbecue in Bartlett at Highway 70 in Appling or in Arlington at Highway 70 just a block west of 385. He's got a cold. Nothing to worry about. Just need a couple of stitches. Your COVID rapid test is negative. Oh boy, x-ray shows it's broken. Trust Trinity Medical Care when you need urgent care or routine medical care. Walk-ins are welcome or let Trinity help you virtually with telemedicine. Visit trinity-medicalcare.com for more information and follow them on Facebook. Trinity Medical Care, where your care comes first. Located on Governor's Drive in South Parkway. Hello, my name is Christian Martinez. I'm a rising senior at Athens Bible School. My school is great because of the wonderful environment in which students can grow and flourish. We have great academics that include the university preparatory diploma and dual enrollment courses that lead to an associate's degree before high school graduation. All my teachers and the school's employees are Christians who are devoted to the welfare of students. We have an excellent student body, competitive sports program, and study the Bible first thing every day. It's a great place. Please consider joining us at ABS next year or give that special child in your life the great opportunity I have. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the legal services performed by other lawyers. Losing a loved one is hard, but losing a loved one and not having an estate plan is even harder. Attorney Harlan Mitchell witnessed what not having an estate plan can do to families and decided to use his experience to do something about it. I encourage you to go to BamaEstatePlanning.com or give Harlan Mitchell a call at 256-216-9884. Again, that website is BamaEstatePlanning.com. Let Harlan Mitchell help you with estate planning. Do it for those you love and do it today. Boutique Air in Muscle Shoals, Alabama offers direct flights to Atlanta, Nashville, and Pensacola. Boutique Air service runs twice daily, seven days a week, with fares starting at $59. Follow Boutique Air Muscle Shoals on Facebook at Boutique Air MSL and book your flight through BoutiqueAir.com. Boutique Air. Where you can fly private for the cost of commercial. High Five Liquidation is coming to Athens, Alabama. At High Five Liquidation, everything is only $5. Household items, automotive items, kitchen and bath items, air fryers, citizen watches, shop vacs, Instapots, crock pots, clothing, and much, much more. At High Five Liquidation, everything is $5. Located at 1206 Highway 31 South in Athens, just north of Ramona J's. Give them a call at 256-444-2682. You can also follow them on Facebook at High Five Liquidation. Stay tuned for the grand opening date coming soon. Red and yellow and pink and green, pop went orange and blue. I can sing rainbow, sing rainbow to you. Listen to your eyes. 
listen to your eyes. You can sing. Sing a rainbow. Sing a rainbow. Sing along with me. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange. Welcome and to blue. another edition of the Mary Fay Hedrick Good Deed segment. Right now, I have with me Shannon Brown with Liberty Middle School in Madison, Alabama. Welcome to the Mark White Show, Shannon Brown. Hey, thanks, Mark. How you doing today? Doing great, buddy. I saw your video earlier. And I saw where we were trying to help the people in central Alabama around the Pelham area who were hit by a tornado. Many homes were damaged. There's a lot of people who've been displaced. And, of course, we're trying to rally together to get supplies. And I saw that video where you're working towards getting some supplies down there to the Pelham area. Uh, yes, sir. You know, unfortunately, I know all too well, you know, what, you know, victims, if you will, that uh, these tornadoes and things that they need um and they just you know they just need support uh you know whether it's you know personal hygiene things or whether it's uh you know bottled water tarps uh non-perishable food items you name it they can definitely you know they can definitely use it and uh i was going to take off today but uh, i've we've gotten with uh our county commissioner and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make this thing, uh, we're going to get a lot more people involved and get trailers and get these things packed up and loaded up to where, you know, it's not just a hodgepodge. You know, we've got things identified as to what's on what pallet, what's in what bin. That way when, they, that way when we show up, uh, it'll be a lot, more, uh, a lot more organized. So I can tell you already, Mark, just, um, you know, just off of what I did this morning, our, our our liberty family is you know already gone above and beyond this and that's just been a day but that's what we expect from people when it comes to events like this and as you alluded to we were talking about april 27th the tornadoes that occurred across the state of alabama including tuscaloosa and you realize the magnitude of what it means for people to well we've lost lives yesterday we lost five yes, lives sir. and then also people losing their homes and then having to find places to live, things that they need, those necessities. We're here right now in Athens, Alabama. You're in Madison County. We're okay. We didn't have a tornado hit us, so we can go to our faucet. We can go and flush the toilet, or we can go and get a snack, but it's not the same when you have a tornado come through and devastate a community in this way. Resources become very limited, and these people need some help right now. And it is good to see that you had to step it up a little bit because of the response to even have a bigger trailer, more trailers. And the response Correct. sounds like it's pretty good that people are rallying around this way. Yes, sir. You know, a lot of times what what happens, Mark, is, you know, we kind of get in our daily routine, our daily lives, and we go. And a lot of times what happens, we end up taking, you know, just taking the simple things for granted. Yes, and, um, you know, it's just, that's just, that's human nature. It is what it is. You know, it's just important that, you know, we, we bond together and we do what we can. I mean, that's what we always do. We need to pull together and, and help out whoever needs help. That's just the right thing to do. Well, I had a friend message me this morning and they were asking if I knew of anybody that was headed down to the Pelham area. And then lo and behold, a few hours later, I saw your video, Shannon, and then realized that I could pass that on to her, and she now has that information. And as I asked you if you would come on and, and give the details so that people know when, where, how they can bring these items to get them to Pelham. Well, the biggest thing right now is start, you know, come Monday, schools open back up. Our school's located at uh, 281 Doc Murphy Drive, and that's in Madison, just off of County Line Road. You know, they can bring those items to our school right there at the front office and our, our team up front they know exactly what's going on and what to do and anything that we can get and you know get ready to take down there our goal is to try to collect as much as we can next week you know rally the troops so to speak and head that way and and just help as many people as we possibly can 
do you know what the timeline is as far as what day people can donate up to so far? Sure. So right now, basically, we're open at 730 in the morning. I would say 8 o'clock. I would say from 8 to 2 is really a good time because we have dismissal and things of that nature. So 8, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, is, a, is the window. And then specifically, what items do you think would be most usable right now for people down there? Well, obviously, drinking water, you know, power rate, Gatorade type things, non-perishable food items, uh, personal hygiene products. Uh, I know the request for tarps and uh, things of that nature. And and you can you can look on our we we have put it on our website, um, and we're going to do a uh, we're going to do a news release. It, it should be out uh, for tonight's news. Um, so all the media outlets will have it going. Uh, this evening starting at five o'clock and anything that you have please pass that along and then I will share it on the Mark White show page make sure that everybody has the information because I know there are a lot of people here in North Alabama that want to be able to help and it's just a really great opportunity for them to simply take those items to Madison County to Liberty Middle School and then have them have others go and deliver those items and it keeps the traffic from that area in Pelham, but it gets the items, the resources that people are needing down there. Right. You know, everybody's just, they're so overwhelmed right now. And, you know, reality really hasn't set in yet. Everybody's still, uh, I can only imagine, uh, still in a uh, big time shock, but, um, like I said, we're just there to help and offer a hand, have we can. Um, you know, really disappointed in the lives that were lost. Um, but thank goodness it wasn't more because I'm telling you, I really feel like people heed the warning in regards to, you know, what was going on, what was predicted. And uh, when you get those torcons up like they are, you know, it's just it's nothing to play with. So uh, we're very, very thankful that folks took it serious right now we're talking to shannon brown if you want to take some supplies to liberty middle school again that is 281 doc murphy drive that's d-o-c-k doc murphy drive madison alabama you can carry those items between the hours of 8 a.m and 2 p.m to liberty middle school shannon thank you and thank the teams and all the people that it takes to get the supplies to pelham alabama we sure appreciate every member who stepped up and is stepping in to make yes, a difference. Sir. Yes, sir. Well, you know, again, that's that's what we're supposed to do, Mark. And it's, uh, you know, it's unfortunate that we have to have, you know, a catastrophic event to get people to, you know, to wake up and do the right thing. And, you know, we ought to be doing these things every day without, you know, something tragic happening. It just, but, you know, again, we get in our daily routines and, you know, we go and sometimes we forget to count our blessings and, you know, check on thy neighbor and et cetera, et cetera. So, but nevertheless, very thankful for anybody that wants to participate. And, um, you know, again, uh, thank you for helping spread the word, Mark. Absolutely. Thank you for joining me here on the Mary Faye Hedrick Good Deed segment again, Shannon Brown. Thanks, Mark. Thank you, buddy. Folks, you can make a difference right now for the people in the Pelham area who lost homes to the tornado and you can also get those valuable resources by going to Liberty Middle School. Again, I will give you the address. It's 281 Doc Murphy Drive, Madison, Alabama. We appreciate Shannon Brown joining us here on the Mark White Show today. When we come back, we're going to have a brand new episode of Kyla's Corner from Kyla Carter, followed by the Make a Difference Minute replay. You are listening to the Mark White Show, and I'm your host, Mark White. Hi everybody, this is DJ Thomas. You know, raindrops may be falling on your head, but on Kyla's Corner, she's living life sunny side up. Nothing seems to fit. I'm not your average puzzle piece. I don't give in or give up. I'll always know that I'm enough. I'm not your average puzzle piece or the perfect picture. I don't just fit in with the crowd. I stand out. I don't just go with the trends. I've got my own style. You can see me coming from a mile. I'm not your average puzzle piece. I don't Welcome. 
Corner. I'm Kyla Carter, and I hope to inspire you to spread positivity, happiness, and kindness through these segments. I live my life sunny side up, and I hope you can too. This week has been an exciting week for me. I have reached yet another milestone in my career. Recently, I received verification on Instagram. This means that I have a blue check mark whereby Instagram officially confirms that my account is the authentic account of a public figure or celebrity. To be eligible, one must have a long list of requirements, and even then, less than 4% of accounts are verified. So for me, this was a big deal to achieve this little blue check mark at just 14 years old. I am so truly thankful to all of my supporters and friends who have gotten me to this point. Thank you to my fans, family, and friends who have sent me messages of support and are truly happy for me. I am beyond grateful. Now, since we are already on the topic of successes, today I want to talk about being happy for your friends' and family's successes and milestones. When something good happens in someone's life, please show them love and support. Do not be envious and ignore their success. This happens all too often, and I'm here to tell you that there is room in our world for everyone to shine. Remember, jealousy is driven by low self-esteem and poor self-image. Jealousy alters your thinking and sense of reality, making you believe things that aren't necessarily true. In my experience, jealousy from others often occurs when you succeed. People will always want what they don't have, but this isn't a healthy trait. There will always be someone who has more than you and someone with less than you. So instead of being envious or spiteful towards someone, you should support them, wish them well, or at the very least say congratulations. Jealousy often emerges when it's someone that you're close with. This could be a family member or a friend. It's easy to have these feelings when it's someone you know personally. You may think these things like, they don't deserve this, or ugh, that should have gone to me. But you must remember that everybody is on their own path in life. Be inspired, not jealous. Some things just aren't meant to be. I have had so many friends that booked a job that I really wanted. At first, I was upset, thinking about the amazing opportunity it was and how I would have loved to be a part of that show or project. But then, I remembered that my friend got to be a part of that amazing opportunity. I can't help but be happy for them, and all feelings of sorrow or jealousy disappear on my end. I learned that being happy for my loved ones or friends helped me grow and be a better person. Instead of feeling sorry for myself or becoming envious or jealous, I remember that I am on my own path and maybe that specific opportunity just wasn't meant for me. Just yet. (laughs) We all want love and support. So treat others' successes how you want your successes to be treated. If you're looking for support, then support your friends and family. So... I encourage you to stay on your own path, be in support of others around you, and live life as I do. Sunny side up. I'm Kyla Carter, and you're listening to The Mark White Show. Stay unique and find a way to make a difference that doesn't just impact you, but impacts others around you. Welcome to the Make a Difference Minute replay, where we play Make a Difference Minutes from the past week. Welcome to another edition of the Make a Difference Minute from the Mark White Show, where we're sharing stories to encourage and inspire. Experience the difference at Athens Bible School. The vision and purpose is to provide each student a quality education in a Christ-centered environment to develop the whole person spiritually, mentally, physically, and socially in safe and supportive surroundings. The Saul Biblical Foundation permeates learning and culture in the classrooms and every extracurricular activity. This is the Make a Difference Minute from the Mark White Show. On this Make a Difference Minute, we have Quentin Aaron. You know him as Big Mike from the Blind Side. I've had the privilege of traveling this week and speaking to kids about anti-bullying 
When I was young, one of the things that troubled me is that I, I was someone who looked for everyone's acceptance. I wanted to be liked by everyone. And it hurt my feelings when I wasn't. Um, I remember going home one day from school and I asked my mom, I was like, mom, how come nobody likes me? So my mom told me, she goes, well, let me ask you a question. Do you believe me when I say that I love you? And I said, yes. She said, okay. And your family, you believe that they love you? I said, yeah. And your friends, you got friends, right? I said, <laughs> uh, define friends. But uh, yeah, no, I got friends, I got friends. She said, you believe they like you? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. So she looked around and she was like, well, who are you talking about when you say nobody likes you? So I said, well, you know, kids at school, they're always mean to me. They, you know, they don't like me. My mom was a little blunt at the time. So she goes, so? But she's like, no, listen, it's not your job to make everybody like you. What I just pointed out is the fact that you have a loving family who's got your back. You have friends who's got your back and you got their back. You love them. They love you. That's all you need. Who cares about everybody else that don't like you? Not everyone is for everybody. Be sure to follow The Mark White Show on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. This is Mark White encouraging you to find your purpose by making a difference in someone's life today. Welcome to another edition of the Make a Difference Minute from The Mark White Show, where we're sharing stories to encourage and inspire. He's got a cold. Nothing to worry about. Just need a couple of stitches. Your COVID rapid test is negative. Oh boy, x-ray shows it's broken. Trust Trinity Medical Care when you need urgent care or routine medical care. Walk-ins are welcome or let Trinity help you virtually with telemedicine. Visit trinity-medicalcare.com for more information and follow them on Facebook. Trinity Medical Care, where your care comes first. Located on Governor's Drive in South Parkway. This is the Make a Difference Minute from the Mark White Show. Cole Stoddard was a young boy with a special gift of bringing laughter, smiles, and joy to everyone he met. His greatest pleasure was making others happy. He loved being outdoors, playing with his twin brother Troy, his older sister Tara, and his many cousins. Cole was such a loving, caring boy who could always be counted on to brighten each moment with a silly joke or one of his magical smiles. Cole taught us all to treasure each and every moment and always smile and be happy. I reached out to Cole's father, Tony Stoddard, and wanted him to join me on the show today to bring awareness to Cole, his legacy, and to help others when it comes to childhood cancer. Welcome to the Mark White Show, Tony Stoddard. Hello, Mark. Thank you for having me. We were kind of stunned when he sat up in bed and he looked at my wife and I and he said, smile, be happy. And we were both in shock to hear those words from him. Uh, There were so many tumors in his mouth, it was hard to understand him, any words that he was saying normally at that time. And he started to lay his head back down on his pillow, and then he he sat back up again real suddenly, and this time he said it even louder. He looked us both in the eye, and he said, smile, be happy. And then he laid down back on his pillow, and he went to sleep, and that was his final message to us. We've tried to honor those, those last three words, that last wish of our son's ever since that day. People can go to Facebook, Sophia's Fund, that's S-O-P-H-I-A apostrophe S of Sophia's Fund, and also go to sophiasfund.org, check out that website. I appreciate you joining me here on the Mark White Show today and sharing about Cole and this special message that he left us, and we need to live by it. Smile, be happy. Thank you so much. God bless you all. If you have a suggestion for the Make a Difference Minute, send it to themarkwhiteshow at gmail.com. Be sure to follow The Mark White Show on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. This is Mark White encouraging you to find your purpose by making a difference in someone's life today. Welcome to another edition of the Make a Difference Minute from The Mark White Show, where we're sharing stories to encourage and inspire. Mr. Cecil Batchelor is the one that started this business as Dependable Service Center. And even though now it's Green's Dependable Hardware and we're a true value store, our tagline is still your Dependable Service Center. We've tried to keep that alive for all these years. Mr. Batchelor really started a good business. We're really excited to be carrying on a long-standing tradition. It's the oldest retail store in the city of Russellville. We're Green's Dependable Hardware, 15220A Highway 43 in Russellville. Alabama. We're right behind McDonald's or right across the street from the hospital. Number is 256-331-0123. The Dependable Service Center.
This is the Make a Difference Minute from the Mark White Show. On this Make a Difference Minute, we have COVID survivor Rebecca Hunt. I was diagnosed on a Thursday, the 17th of December, and on the 21st, my husband had to call the ambulance. I was non-responsive. When they got here, my breathing was 30%. By the next day, my breathing had went to 7%. They had no option but to put me on the vent. I stayed there for 18 days. The vent causes a lot of pain, and it's very difficult to explain, but it saved my life. Most of the time, patients that suffer the kind of breathing issues that I did has only like a 95 percentile against them and only a 5 percent chance of making it. It was a hard battle, and I fought. I had thousands of people praying, which made a huge difference because it empowered me with the strength to keep fighting. You know, I'm blessed that I have insurance, but there's co-pays and and other things. There's supplies that they don't pay for. When you come home not able to walk, there are other things that you have to purchase and buy. It's put a hardship like anybody. I mean, it's crazy to think about that amount of money But, you know, my husband has been so supportive, and he told me, how can you put a price on a lie? And he didn't care as long as I'm still here. And so, you know, I'm blessed to have the support of my family. My husband has been so supportive, and I could not have done this journey without him. If you would like to support this effort, you can go to GoFundMe.com and search Help Becky with Medical Bills and Living Expenses. This is Mark White encouraging you to find your purpose by making a difference in someone's life today. Welcome to another edition of the Make a Difference Minute from the Mark White Show, where we're sharing stories to encourage and inspire. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the legal services performed by other lawyers. Losing a loved one is hard, but losing a loved one and not having an estate plan is even harder. Attorney Harlan Mitchell witnessed what not having an estate plan can do to families and decided to use his experience to do something about it. I encourage you to go to BamaEstatePlanning.com or give Harlan Mitchell a call at 256-216-9884. Again, that website is BamaEstatePlanning.com. Let Harlan Mitchell help you with estate planning. Do it for those you love and do it today. This is the Make a Difference Minute from the Mark White Show. And right now on the line with me, I have Stephen King. We have been chatting back and forth about the work to bring students into the engineering fold, if you will. Welcome to the Mark White Show, Stephen King. If we're looking at General Motors saying that they're going to stop manufacturing or cease manufacturing internal combustion engines by 2035, they're a leader in the industry. Volvo said that they're going to cease by 2030. If we have trends such as that, then I think that the leaders in the community, the leaders in education and and students themselves need to be aware of where industries are going and what the new trend or what they expect to be in the future. So we're not caught off guard, but if we can start out at an early age of, hey, this is where the industry is going, so if you want to go into diesel repair, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But be aware that the technology is shifting toward a more electrical, more electronic. When you're in high school, that's not the time to be shy. That's the time to be stepping up and, and marking your place of where you want to be recognized as, hey, I'd, I'd like to do this, and I'm, I want to go in that direction. And let people know, if your parents are members of a, a civic organization, sometimes they give scholarships out to uh students that are aspiring in a certain direction that would help the community out and so forth. It depends on the size of your community as well. So a larger municipality is going to have more opportunities than a smaller one, but it doesn't mean don't don't rule the smaller one out. Sometimes the, the actual community colleges have more scholarships available than they openly advertise uh, because there's just so many available. It's not meaning that there's just buckets full of money. It just means that there's stuff there that they, they don't promote as much or don't advertise as much. Be sure to follow The Mark White Show on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. This is Mark White encouraging you to find your purpose by making a difference in someone's life today. Once again, we'd like to thank Shayla Handback and Wendy Reichard of the Teddy Bear Foundation for joining us here on The Mark White Show today. 
Again, I encourage you to go to teddybearfoundation.org and check out the great work they're doing for veterans in the Shoals area. We also appreciate Shannon Brown with Liberty Middle School coming on the program to share about the effort to get supplies to those people who have been displaced by the tornado in the Pelham, Alabama area in Shelby County, Alabama. We also appreciate Kyla Carter sharing a brand new episode of Kyla's Corner. I encourage you to follow The Mark White Show on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And please subscribe to the podcast via TuneIn Radio, Apple iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Audioboom, SoundCloud, Blueberry, and on YouTube. We're here to make a difference, and I hope that this show is making a difference and an impact on your life. If it is, I encourage you to share this show with your friends, your neighbors, and your family. Let them know about The Mark White Show, and let's come together, let's unify to make a difference in our communities. You have been listening to a Saturday edition of The Mark White Show, and this is Mark White encouraging you to find your purpose by making a difference in someone's life today. Well, let's all do something good today.